Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to first video on this channel, Homemade Science. In this video, we are gonna make a cheap fire extinguisher. Let's get on to it. So here's what you'll need. Vinegar, half a liter glass, then baking soda, or if you don't have one like I do, because I forgot to buy baking soda, you can use uh, like baking powder because the main, like the second main uh, thing in baking powder is baking soda. Yeah. Then you're gonna need a funnel. Funnel. Then uh, some plastic bottle. Make sure it's plastic, so it's gonna work for our purpose. And then, just for testing, here is a tea candle, small candle, and lighter. I highly recommend using some kind of cover because vinegar has in it an acetic acid, and because it's acid, it can do some really bad things to your furniture. So, use cover just in case you're gonna spill or whatever. So, pour vinegar inside of the glass. Not too much, just enough. So, about this much. Yeah, this is half a liter glass. You can put Vinegar away. All right, so we have the first step, and as the second step, we are gonna prepare our bottle. So, yeah, just unscrew the top, and we are gonna prepare the funnel. Insert it. The bottle. You are good to go. And then the next step will be to add baking powder in my case or I highly recommend doing it with baking soda because it has more sodium hydrogen carbonate in it than baking powder but uh, if you don't have one like I don't have you can do it with baking powder as well as I said before so let's add it in the vinegar okay so I'm gonna add it to the vinegar and I zoomed in the camera so you can better and now check it out the bubbles you see are carbon dioxide and as you know carbon dioxide can extinguish fire so just wait a few seconds or maybe minutes Carbon dioxide is um, carbon dioxide is heavier than air or oxygen or nitrogen because it has uh, one more carbon in it. You know, oxygen is O2 and carbon dioxide is CO2, so it has one carbon more. It has carbon added in it. So just wait until it stops bubbling. You see those bubbles collapsing. So yeah, just wait. All right, so now let's pour it into the bottle. Make sure that you are pouring only the carbon dioxide, so no liquid, all right? just the gas. We don't want to have any liquid in the bottle. So pour it carefully. Alright. Okay, you can shake it, stir it. Pour it again. Alright now most of the carbon dioxide formed in this reaction should be in this bowl. You can 
close button if you want and store it for later. As a demonstration that this fire extinguisher works, I have a candle, so I'm gonna light it. Right? So here's the candle. I just unscrewed the bottle and check it out. Yeah, so you see, it works. It works even better if you have like some kind of isolated funnel so no carbon dioxide is gonna leak in the process of uh, pouring. But it works. It works maybe not the first time and uh, sure. Uh, it would help if we had baking soda instead of baking powder and if we had larger volume of the carbon dioxide. And now I'm going to show you that uh, uh, we didn't put the fire out with just the air in this bottle because, yeah, you, as you can see, carbon dioxide is no more there. It's all out in the atmosphere already, so yeah, there's no carbon dioxide left in the bottle. And if I, you see, when the carbon dioxide was in the bottle, just two presses were enough to extinguish the fire. But now, even if I press pretty hardly, it doesn't wanna. It doesn't wanna. Stop, stop burning. And now I'm gonna explain to you what's actually happened in this reaction, in this video. So, sodium hydrogen carbonate, otherwise known as baking soda, reacted with uh, vinegar, or to be more precise, with acetic acid, which is in the vinegar. And it formed carbon dioxide, water because it's a neutralization, and a salt of uh, acetic acid, and because it's sodium hydrogen carbonate, it formed sodium salt. And the salt is called sodium acetate. And sodium acetate is another amazing compound, you know. You can super cool it and if you pour it on some kind of already crystallized sodium acetate it's gonna turn to solid immediately, it's gonna crystallize, yeah? And that's why it's awesome. It's already in this glass but uh, it's really a tough process to go through to actually take it from there. But if you really want it and showed me support on this video by likes and subscribes on my channel, I would definitely do it one time, maybe as the next video. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this and see you next time.